Hey guys, today is Friday, 1st November 2024 and I have some updates for you, alright? So, if you're an internet user in Ghana, then this video is definitely for you. I'm coming your way with the good news, bad news and not so good or bad news, alright? So, which one should I start with? The good news, the bad news or the not so good or bad news, alright? So, let me start first with the bad news, then I go to good news. The bad news is that if you live in Accra, Kaswa, Kufurudua, and anywhere in the maybe greater Accra region, extending to the eastern region, then I'm sorry to inform you that you can't activate a new Starlink. So if you have it, if you bought a new Starlink or you are planning to acquire a new Starlink, then the bad news for you is that you can't activate it. Starlink has not released any official statement as to why those in Accra, Kofurudia, Kaswa, Pram Pram, and all those areas can't activate their Starlink or can't activate a new Starlink, all right? I mean, I assume it's because those areas are experiencing some kind of surge in the usage, all right? And their ground stations are full in capacity. So probably they don't want to keep uh, pushing or putting pressure on their infrastructure in order not to compromise the quality of their service, all right? But if you live, let's say, Kumasi, uh, Takrade, Takwa, Cape Coast, and any other places from, I mean, those sites, even Northern region, then I can assure you that you can get Starlink, activate Starlink without problem, all right? So that's the first bad news for Starlink users or those who want to use Starlink. The second bad news is that if you live in Accra, you can now access 5G, all right? Now, 5G is in Ghana. So if you live in Accra, Kumasi, and Takrade, the 5G network will be rolled out for people um, living in these areas, all right? Accra, Kumasi, and Takrade. So if you live there, you can now access, I don't know whether it's launched, but it should be launched today, all right? I read from credible news sources, and it is confirmed that 5G would be rolled out on 1st November 2024. That is today, Friday, all right? So if you live in Accra, Kumasi, Takrade, congratulations, you will start using 5G. But for those of you who live outside of these very places, it means you can't access 5G. I mean, not yet. I mean, to drag it to get, I mean, gradually to roll out to your doorsteps, but for now, you can't use it. So that's the bad news for those in Accra and those outside of Accra. If you live in Accra, you can't activate new styling, but you can enjoy the 5G. All right. So that is the bad news. I mean, should I say the not so bad news? Now let's get to the good news. The good news is that Starlink finally has released a new price model for everyone. All right. So now with 500 CDs, you can have access to uh, unlimited internet, 50 to 100 megabits per second internet speed. All right. For 500 CDs. All right. So now for those of you in Accra, if Starlink gets reactivated, you can now get Starlink and with 500 CDs, you would have unlimited access to internet, all right? So um, for those of you in Takrade, Kumasi, Cape Coast, and any other place apart from Accra, Kofurudia, and um, let's say Pram Pram and those encouragements, you can now have access to Starlink and pay 500 CDs unlimited. And for those of us who have our regional mobile active, now we have no reason to stay on the regional mobile. We have no reason to stay with Nigeria, all right? Now you have to come back home and pay tax to our government because Nigeria paying 500 and Ghana, we are also going to pay 500. So now there's no point still getting hooked to Nigeria station. All right. So now finally, we are all coming to Ghana to pay 500 CDs and enjoy unlimited internet for 500 CDs, 50 to 100 megabit per second internet speed. This is not the fastest because if you are using the 700 package, all right, you would enjoy better internet service. I mean, like 150 to 200 or even 300 megabit per second. So the 50 to 100 megabit per second, which is also incredibly fast. I mean, it's okay for average Ghanaian and going for 500 CDs is a super cool deal. The second good news is the fact that Starlink have also introduced a new device, all right? The Starlink Mini, all right? As part of their mix in Ghana. We only had the Gen 3, which was the standard link that we're allowed to buy. But now we can have access to the Starlink Mini, which means with the Starlink Mini, you can just pack it in a small bag with your power bank and move anywhere in Thailand to activate your Starlink and enjoy and enjoy unlimited high-speed internet right here in Ghana. The final news, which I have already broken because of the first news, is the fact that 5G is now officially in Ghana, all right? So I saw on Twitter and I confirmed from multiple credible sources um, from the CEO of the Next Gen Infraco or the NGIC, all right? 
Tenu Awuno saying NGIS is committed to providing the highest standard of 5G infrastructure that means Ghana's evolving digital landscape. All right, so 5G is in Ghana and it's now being rolled out to those in Kumasi, Takradi, and Accra. All right, so if you live in Kumasi, Takradi, and Accra, for your information, you can now start enjoying 5G fast internet speed. All right, so now I think very soon you'll be comparing the 5G internet speeds and its affordability to that of Starlink, all right, or we start of Starlink, all right, it's early to tell, but then we're doing review as um, we get more information and as we get hands-on on the 5G network and a compatible device, all right, so guys, so guys, that's the tech news for you this Friday, let me know what you think, if you're excited that 5G is in Ghana, if you're excited that now with 500 cities you can buy Starlink package and use it unlimited at 50 to 100 megabit per second, then follow me, hit the like button and also let me know your thoughts, until next time, see you next video. Bye.